Hello, I'm Sean Kantayashi. And the most important time in a puppy's life is from birth to 16 weeks. That's when a puppy is learning how to socialize and learning the skills that he or she will need to be a beloved family pet. This is day three in our series teaching you how to socialize and train your little puppy. This is an eight week old little guy and you'll see him as we are working with him step by step showing you what he knows, what he's learning and how we're focusing in our work with him. What we do here at Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, we breed and we train and socialize our puppies so that when they go to your home, they are able to just fit right into your lifestyle as beloved little pets. You have two options with us. You can get an eight week old puppy or you can get a puppy that's been through some of our prep school or all of our prep school. And that's why I'm showing you all of this and teaching you step by step in case you want to do this yourself for your own puppy. In each of the videos, I'm going to show you specific things that you can do to train your dog. And I'm also going to give you tips on things you can do to socialize. Come along today, day three, as we show you next steps in training as well as socializing your Starting problem. off, I'm putting this very small collar and leash on Birdie today. And the reason that I do this is it helps me to have more control as Birdie is working, but I'm not actually using it as a collar and leash in any other way than just exposing her, getting her used to it, getting her used to having the collar on and getting her used to being occasionally pulled by the leash. But here we go. What I'm going to start off doing is the same thing I do every time. I have a little tiny treat here in my hand and I'm going to let her know that I have the treat. So I put it right in front of her nose and now I'm gonna lure her, yes, yes places. Yes, birdie, Let's, yes, sit. Now, I'm not actually letting her eat the whole treat each time. She's just getting a chance to lick on it. Down. Yes, down, birdie. Yes, down. Yes, down, birdie. Yes, sit, birdie. Yes, sit. Yes, down, birdie. Yes, sit. Now, when I'm first teaching a dog, I might give them three or four, yes, sit. So I'm giving her the opportunity to lick the treat multiple times here, yes, sit. This is teaching patience. And you can see that there are other puppies here watching on, so that's some of the noise that you hear at the moment. So yes, sit, Birdie. We always want to start our training in an environment that's very safe to the puppy. This is very safe to her, although to a lot of puppies this would be an extremely distracting environment, but to my puppies, because this is where they are raised, down, yes, down. So notice the hand movements that I'm doing. This is sit, yes, sit, yes, sit. This is down. Yes, down, yes, down. And I'm gonna do them four or five times. Yes, sit. Yes, down. So notice I get her to do the command and then she gets the yes and the reward. I've also got my water bottle ready to go because if the puppies start making a lot of noise, I'm going to squirt them and then say quiet. But I've also got a visiting dog at the moment. Teddy is visiting. We're going to be breeding Teddy this week and so he's here visiting to be bred. And uh, he's just arrived, so he's very anxious, excited, uh, happy to be here and trying to get my attention. So that's another part of the noise that you hear a little bit of here. But let's go back to Birdie. Notice Birdie stayed on, Birdie stayed on the training bed while I was talking to you and she was very, very patient. 
So we're rewarding her here for her patience. And by the way, what I'm using at the moment is literally the exact same kibble that's in her bowl. So she's learning to love learning. Yes, down. So we're going to do spin now. Yes, spin, birdie. Yes, spin. Yes, spin. I'm not giving her a treat each time at this point because it's clear to me she knows these. Yes, spin. Yes, spin. So I'm just letting her lick the treat, but I'm not actually releasing the treat into her mouth at this point. Yes. Yes, down, birdie. Yes, down. So we've got... Yes, sit. Yes, down. Spin. And this is the sequence that we always teach new puppies. And we do it over and over, multiple times a day. Now the next thing that we teach, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. I happen to like to sit on these exercise balls. So you can see this particular exercise ball. This is how I sit on an exercise ball while I'm working with a puppy. But let's face it, Birdie's doing a great job. The next thing that I teach is watch me. Yes, watch me. Good job. Yes, watch me. Yes, watch me. Good job, Birdie. Yes. Yes, watch me. Watch me. Yes, yes, watch me. There, she got the jackpot. She got the big tree. She's doing a great job. I'm going to give her belly rubs now. Belly rubs. Belly rubs. So that we're making the experience of being on this training bed really fun for her. Yes. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Birdie. Good girl. Birdie is adorable. She has such a great, warm, and loving personality. She's easy to train. And she's learning to love learning by the way that we are training her. This little cream boy, isn't he adorable? Oh, yes, you are. But you can see he's been squirted with some water while we were working with Birdie. And so he's got a little bit of wet face going on at the moment, but that will dry very quickly. So I'm gonna show you where he is in this process. So I'm starting off by, again, just putting the collar on. And if I have a dog in my lap, I'm going to be extremely careful because he didn't jump up into my lap. I lifted him up into my lap. So I have to make sure that I don't let him fall off my lap. All right, so I'm getting ready by getting a nice little treat in my hands. And now I'm gonna put him on the floor and I'm going to use my hand to lure him. Yes, places. Yes, places. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, places. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. And so you see the scratching. The scratching is because the collar's new. And again, this is part of the reason why we go ahead and start putting the collar on early, is just getting them used to it. We're not really using it as a leash yet. Did you drop something? Yes, sit. Some dogs are highly food motivated. <laughs> Letting him scratch, getting that collar, getting used to the collar. So notice I'm not pushing him while he's trying to scratch the collar. Oh, you wanna do it down? Yes, down. Yes, down. So while he's in that down position, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Yes, down. Yes, down. Yes, down. Let him finish chewing. 
Sometimes I collect them when they drop them and use them again. Yes, spin. Yes, spin. Yes, sit. Yes, down. Yes, good boy. Yes, down. Yes, good boy. Oh, you want to do belly rubs? Belly rubs. Yes, yes. Sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, spin. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes, spin. Yes. Yes. Now, I haven't built up yet to watch me with him. Yes. Yes. So, just practicing luring there. Yes. Oh, silly boy. Yes. Yes. We're making this lots of fun for you. And Toffee says it looks like so much fun, I want to be doing it. All right, I always like to make sure that I end on something really super positive with a puppy. So, yes, such a good boy. Yes, yes, you want a belly rub? Belly rubs, belly rubs for you. Yes, sweet little boy. Yes. This day three went very well. I encourage you to do something social with your puppy every day. And next, what I'm going to show you are some of the things that I'm doing with these puppies to socialize them, to have them meet new people, to have them meet new dogs. For example, having Teddy here, so they'll get to meet Teddy, a new dog they've never met before. And they also get to meet new people when they come to my home. I make sure when I take them into public places that I don't put them on the ground yet. So I carry them. I might put my jacket on and, oh, oh my goodness, yes, yes. I might put them in my jacket and zip it up so that their little heads are poking out, but their feet don't hit the ground when we go outside at this age. So I'll show you what that looks like here in some of the next videos. Next, I'm going to show you some of the things that we do to socialize our puppies and I would encourage you to think about how you can apply these socialization ideas to your own puppy, given your puppy's age and experience. Now, what I wanna show you right now is exactly what I do with this water bottle. So when Teddy gets to making noises, yes, quiet, yes, quiet, yes, quiet, yes, quiet. You'll notice the rest of my dogs None of them make these squeaky, barky kinds of get me attention immediately or I'll die kinds of noises. This has been trained into him, meaning he's been rewarded by the people who own him for behaving like this. When he does this, they go over and they cuddle him or they affirm him or something like that. But if they'll start to use a water bottle and make sure he knows this behavior doesn't get you picked up. You do not get picked up if you're... Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. And now that he's quiet, he gets a little pet. But you don't take a puppy out of a playpen or a crate if they're making noise. So if they're making noise, spray them, ask them to be quiet, and then they get affirmed and rewarded when they are quiet. I'll be working with Teddy on that while he's visiting, and I'll be asking his family to continue that once he's back home. We are at Quakertown Vet Clinic right now, and I brought the puppies along 
as part of their socialization, it's great to get them out in the car. It's great to have them interacting and seeing people at their age. They need a lot of social interaction. And so it's wonderful for them to be able to come and sit here and watch the experience in the Quakertown Vet Clinic. So, all is well. <laughs>